Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article um, made me wonder why did Ukraine ask for short or mid-range missiles from the West when it has its own, just as an extra or something? Uh, the Ukrainians launched uh, or yeah launched two missiles over Crimea. I don't know yet uh, what exactly was the goal of those missiles. Um, yeah, the goal was the goal was destruction, but what was the target? But uh, the Russians um, intercepted those according to the Russians, and these are Ukrainian-made, very new. Uh, I would say. Um, in uh, the current terms, very new missiles. Uh, they were developed in 2010. Uh, so it's not something like, uh, I don't know, a uh, Leopard uh, 1 tank, which was in the 1960s or something, or Abrams something, or let's say F-16, which was developed in 1976. This is 2010 technology. So let's see what's going on here. This article comes from Russia Today from June 10th, 2023. Two Ukrainian missiles intercepted over Crimea. Kiev's forces used Ukrainian-made Grom-2 missiles in the attack, Sergei Aksionov said. So this is how that missile mm, looks like, or at least, I know, the carrier. And uh, it's pretty big, if you know what I mean. It's not like a, a little uh, BS. So, an Ukrainian tactical missile system, Grom-2, at the rehearsal for the Independence Day military parade. Now, these are big. Alright, so what would have been the target? I can only guess it was the Kirsch Bridge, not uh, the city or you know, the Sevastopol, or, but maybe a big ship, but you don't need that for that big ship, you know, even smaller. Now, two ballistic missiles were shot down by air defense defenses over Russia's Crimea early on Saturday, according to the head of the region. Sergei Aksionov said the missiles were fired at the peninsula by Kiev's forces from a Ukrainian-made Grom-2 system. The official noted that there were no casualties or destruction resulting from the attack. And I'm quoting, it's only the um, Russian missiles uh, debris falling on cities uh, that cause damage but these guys probably don't, they don't attack cities that's so that's why you know um, maybe they intercept them early early on and i'm quoting i ask everyone to remain calm and trust only reliable sources of information okay axionov axionov wrote addressing the crimean population grom 2 thunder is a ukrainian short range ballistic missile system that combines the features of a tactical missile system and a multiple rocket launcher. The development of the hardware began in 2010s, mid 2010s, so mid. Its latest version, which is intended for export, is said to have a range of 280 kilometers. I mean, I think, no, I think I know that uh, Stormy Waters uh, uh, missiles from Great Britain, you know, the storm something, shadow, storm shadow, uh, they are about the same, 280 kilometers. So w what's going on here? They want to send those uh, ATC ATMs or something that is again like 300 kilometers. What is it that these guys want those, uh, the Western ones? Just because those guys want to test them, I guess, uh, and have uh, test them and advertise them for others to buy. That's I got that one too. Crimean authorities also reported a strike using Grom 2 in early May. It also involved two missiles, which were both shot down. They said, Crimea, which overwhelmingly voted, pop up up. Um, we don't really care about that one. We know what's going on here. The incursions mainly involve drones, both aerial and naval drones, targeting the port city of Sevastopol, which hosts the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet, as well as other settlements on the peninsula. So I don't know if there was on Sevastopol, they don't say where they blew them up. So my point was, if this Grom 2 have a, an, uh, you know, uh, 208, they can have a range of 280 kilometers, as I say, stormy waters, uh, British 
missiles uh, have uh, up to 280 and the other ones uh, up to 300. So it's just to uh, supply extra because these guys can produce them, is to advertise them, to test them, probably all of the above. Uh, the thing is, I didn't know the Ukrainians have this one, good for them. And uh, according to Russians, they were uh, shot down. What I think happens, what I think, these big, uh, big guns were not sent to uh, destroy the, um, I don't know, three houses and five pigs in Sevastopol area. As I said, either they went, they were not towards Sevastopol because they don't say where they were shot down and what was the trajectory or at least the, the aim. But I, I'm assuming they want to destroy that curse bridge. Uh, if they want to destroy the big ship, they would not send these ones. They would send something smaller. Uh, and uh, the same with uh, uh, the headquarters. And these are big, big weapons, big guns, big, big missiles that I, I could see over there on the picture. So anyway, my friends, um, we're going to find out uh, what really happened in uh, I don't know, maybe a month or so. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.